drivers this morning. Boy, they already dealt with that flooding on highways and in neighborhoods. Just look at that. We have some video from Stelza Road as our Wake Up Seabus team monitored those conditions outside. Now, right now, Franklin County remains under a flood watch. That's until tomorrow night. And with more rain in the forecast, it could mean for another messy commute in the morning. Carla Rogner is live now for us in Dublin, where crews there have been cleaning up ever since this morning. Carla, how's it looking now? Yeah, it's been a busy day out here, but parts of Riverside Drive here in Dublin were under about two feet of water at one point this morning. And you can see in this drainage area here, the water is flowing again now, but it had gotten clogged up as rain pushed debris down this hill here. Crews spent hours today clearing this area here, and this wasn't the only part of Dublin affected by flooding this morning. Well, it's uh, quite a surprise for a Monday. Antonio Contreras woke up to find the pounding rain overnight left a pond in his Dublin neighborhood. I came out and this is what we found. So it's quite a, quite a change of scenery uh, for the neighborhood. Just down the road, Dublin crews cleaning up another mess on Riverside Drive. Mud and debris left over after major flooding overnight. This particular area here, starting with about where I-270 is at, had water ponding up in places that was about two feet deep. Uh, and with that water and the current moving, it brought debris from the tree line and off of the freeway, which then flowed into the storm sewer system, causing the lines to be blocked. Operations Administrator Gary Browning says the flooding that started around 3 a.m. is unusual for this area, but debris came down the hill, clogging up this infrastructure. It was a messy commute across central Ohio. On Johnstown Road and Selzer Road by the airport, drivers were asked to avoid the area because of high water. According to ODOT, oftentimes flooding on roadways and highways is caused by litter. So that stuff gets down into the storm drains, blocks up the storm drains, and we have a heavy rain, the water has nowhere to go. And nine times out of ten, when we go in to pump out that drain to relieve that flooding on the highway, it's trash, it's cups, it's wrappers from fast food, you know, it's car parts from crashes. With more rain in the forecast, crews are asking drivers to avoid driving down flooded roads. And Dublin crews here are hoping that with all the work they did today on Riverside Drive, that this won't be an issue here with the next round of rain. They also say that they try to be proactive in areas that are prone to flooding and making sure the drains in those areas are clear. Live in Dublin, Carla Rogner, 10TV News. All right, thank you.